Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Attack Pack Musaurus. Again, another obscure animal, you know, by Mattel, so again, that's really cool that, I said this before, but it's really cool to see Mattel do more obscure animals than just, you know, T-Rex, and yeah, I said it before several times, so I think you already got the idea, so... Yeah, anyway, I don't really have a lot to say, so let's just get into this. So first, we'll take a look at the collector's card. And for once, I'm actually not a big fan of the artwork of the Musaurus here. Um, mainly because of the head. I just think that looks a little weird, but I feel like the rest of the body does look good. But anyway, some stats, and that's pretty much it. Bland, but these cards, they're a nice touch, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, now for the Musaurus itself. And first, we'll take a quick look at the paint. And the painting on this figure is good for the most part. So, most of the figure is this bluish color, which, for some reason on the packaging, uh, this is more of like a darker shade of blue, almost like a grayish color, but it is a bright blue here now. And we do have some, like, kind of like, gr like a very dark shade of gray, almost black, sort of like, you know, patterns going on the back here, which does look nice. And, of course, the underside is painted a yellowish color, which, again, looks nice. And, once again, here we have the Jurassic World logo and the scan code. Again, the nails are not painted, which I feel like they should have been. They are small, so I guess it's somewhat understandable, but painted nails, I feel like, you know, should have been a thing. Anyway, going to the eyes here, we can see that they are painted orange with black pupils. And that's pretty much it for the painting on this figure. And the painting on this figure... I would have preferred if the blue was, like, the darker shade, like, on the packaging, but, you know, the blue here is not the worst thing ever, so I like it. So, the painting on this figure, not bad. Again, uh, painted nails would have been nice, but, you know, either way, the painting, it's not bad. For what it is, it's good, so I'd say it gets three quarters of a pass. Now, we'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure, again, just like with the rest of the Attack Pack figures, it's nothing really to write home about, so basically... The neck can move down like that, and the four limbs can move 360, and not so much the uh, hind legs, just, you know, because there's a little bit right there that keeps it from moving forward, but yeah. Lastly, the tail can spin 360, and that is pretty much it for the articulation. Again, nothing to write home about, but it's fine for what it is. So the articulation on this figure, basic, so I'd give it a pass. Now we'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpting on this figure is good for the most part. Uh, my only complaint would be the head. I just think that just looks a little too dopey, but, you know, other than that, the sculpting here, it's fine. It works, so sculpting on this figure, I'd say, gets three quarters of a pass. Now we'll take a look at the detailing, and the detail on this figure is actually pretty good. So taking a look at the head, we can see all the creasing and whatnot, which is nicely defined. Not like perfect, but nicely defined. And of course we get more creasing and wrinkles down the neck here, which gets a lot better in terms of being defined. And again, that looks great. And the side of the body here, all the, you know, wrinkles and like creases and whatnot and folds, everything here looks great. And we have some very nice detailing in the forelimbs right here. Uh, nice musculature, everything here very well defined. And yeah, it looks good. And same with the back legs. Nice musculature, very well defined. Everything here looks great. And going to the tail, we have more creasing and folds and whatnot, and even some musculature, which once again looks very nice. I say that a lot, don't I? That's pretty much it for the detailing on this figure. And the detailing on this figure, again, it's not bad. It's not the best I've seen on an attack pack figure, but it's still very nice for what it is. So the detailing, I'd say, definitely gets a pass. So at the end of the day, should you get this? Honestly, this is not a bad figure whatsoever. In fact, actually, um, this is actually something cool I just thought of, actually. Um, this is actually an animal that appeared in Michael Crichton's second Jurassic Park novel, The Lost World. And in that scene, or not, well, it, it's only in one scene, but in, like, the book itself, it's, like, described as being, like, very small, like, as big as this toy right here. So, there's actually a scene where, um, I think it's Richard Levine, he picks one up and kind of, like, holds it like this. So, if you want to make, like, a custom, like, repaint of this, where, like, because, like, in the Lost World novel, this was, like, green with, like, a brown underside, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I do remember this animal being green, uh, excuse me, wow, um, I do remember this animal being green in the novel, so if you want to make, like, 
a custom like paint job to this and make it more like novel accurate and just kind of like recreate that then like you know I feel like that this is definitely the figure for you and even then like you know this is still great um not bad honestly but for an attack pack figure it's still really good and I like it a lot so yeah just like with the rest of the attack pack figures uh, this figure should only cost you about $7.99 which is not bad you know you could do a lot worse with that so yeah get this figure if you can it's not bad at all but if you want to know how big it is, here it is next to Dr. Billy Grant. And usually I'd say something about this figure being too small, but this figure is actually, or too big, I should say, but this figure is actually too small. Um, the actual animal itself, um, for some reason, like, there's a point in time when people thought it was, like, one of the smallest dinosaurs, but now, um, you know, recent discoveries show that this thing is actually, like, pretty big. Like, standing, like, at least up to here is actually a little more accurate, so, like, something like that. I feel like is more accurate than this. So, yeah. Anyway, there they are together. So that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zek out.